Hello everyone. There are no unnecessary jobs, because every profession is important for humanity to some extent. But among the many activities that people devote their lives to, there are those that require special courage. Only really brave men and women are able to do them, constantly risking themselves for the benefit of others. So in today's video, we're going to show you the most dangerous professions in the world. Let's get it on. Lumberjack One of the oldest and most difficult professions is a lumberjack. Previously, firewood was vital to provide heat to homes. In addition, wood was used for construction, as well as for the production and manufacture of various goods. In the old days, the job was much more dangerous and often incredibly heavy, because the only tools lumberjacks had were an axe, a saw, and their own hands. Today, with the development of technology, the lumberjack's job is greatly facilitated by modern equipment, chainsaws, and various logging equipment like harvesters make it possible to harvest more wood in a shorter time. However, the profession of lumberjack is still one of the most difficult. To do this work, you need to have good health, a great physical shape, be hardy, brave, and ready for hard work. The profession involves being in the open at any time of the year, and therefore you have to work regardless of whether it's hot or cold outside. Not everyone can withstand physical activity in such conditions. Mountain Road Driver if you've driven on a mountain road at least once in your life, you know how dangerous it is. Sharp turns, precipices, narrow lanes, but there are people who do this on a daily basis. In some parts of our planet, buses are the only way to get from one settlement to another, and when these places are separated by mountains, drivers have a hard time. Their work requires maximum concentration and peace of mind, because they're responsible not only for their own lives, but also for the lives of their passengers. One wrong move and the bus can break down the rocky slope, which frankly doesn't look particularly solid, and memorials to victims of car accidents along the mountain roads only increase the sense of danger and anxiety, but drivers do it because it's their job. Iron Worker such a miracle as a skyscraper would not have been possible without the invention of the steel frame. Assembling the steel frame of the building is the most dangerous and difficult part of construction. Previously, this was the responsibility of riveters, special workers who worked in teams and put their lives at constant risk. There was no safety gear, so the work of riveters was the most dangerous and difficult at the construction site. Years later, the new generation of high-rise building construction workers has special equipment, protective helmets and safety cables to keep them from accidentally falling. But even so, their work has not ceased to be dangerous and incredibly difficult. It requires not only great physical strength, but also strong nerves. Psychologically unstable people have no place on the construction site, especially at a height of hundreds of meters. High Voltage Linemen All professions related to wires and electricity are dangerous and require serious training. But what about wires and electricity at a great height? High voltage linemen regularly climb to great heights in order to maintain cell towers and power lines. The risk of getting an incredibly strong shock, from which even the healthiest person won't recover, is extremely high. Not to mention the fact that you can simply fall off. Of course, special equipment and safety gear protect them, but still, climbing to such a height to work with electricity requires nerves of steel. In addition to dangers, there's difficult weather conditions, darkness, and the toxicity of the substances they work with. Only really tough people choose this profession. Hazardous Waste Worker Working with harmful, toxic substances is quite dangerous in itself, but people who are engaged in the elimination of leaks and the destruction of these very substances are at even more risk. They identify and dispose of radioactive and nuclear waste, arsenic, lead, and other hazardous materials. For example, workers decommissioning an object 
remove and process radioactive materials generated by nuclear facilities and power plants. They destroy contaminated objects that are used to process radioactive substances. But regular work with components hazardous to human health and life require not only maximum concentration and great responsibility, but also great courage. After all, even the most modern protective suits won't give you full protection from toxic substances if something goes wrong. And although, in fact, the work of these people is similar to that performed by cleaners, it's many times more serious, more dangerous, and more difficult. Window Cleaner you think there's nothing in window cleaning that requires courage, dexterity, and incredible accuracy? Well, in the end, everyone can do it, and many certainly do when they clean the house. But how about skyscraper windows? After all, such huge buildings also need care, which means that someone has to clean their windows from dust and dirt. This is done twice a year and takes a hell of a lot of time. Moreover, the majority of glass covering facades of high buildings can't be open, so it's impossible to wash them from the inside. In this case, professional window cleaners who specialize in skyscrapers come to the rescue. On special platforms and using safety gear, they descend from the roofs of tall buildings and erase every spot to make the glass shine again. This is a hard and incredibly dangerous job, which is well paid because these professionals have to literally risk their lives every time. And not only because of the huge height, but also the wind, which can behave quite unpredictably. Not surprisingly, this profession has been included in the list of the most dangerous in the world. The death rate among skyscraper window cleaners is the same as among firefighters, miners, and police officers. And although the methods and safety equipment are constantly improving, not everyone will agree to do such work. Work. Not everyone has the composure to thoroughly wash the window, hanging at a dizzying height over the city. Volcanologist Who will risk their lives and climb into a volcano right to the boiling lava? Maybe a big fan of extreme sports, or a professional volcanologist, a specialist engaged in the study of volcanoes. Volcanologists work not only with sleeping volcanoes, but also with active ones. They predict eruptions and also study the possibility of using volcanic heat for human needs. We must say that the profession of volcanologist is quite romantic. All these trips and researches, plus a pretty good salary. But don't forget that these people are literally working with the hot bowels of our planet and almost get inside them. The study of active volcanoes takes place in high-risk conditions, surrounded by hot lava, suffocating gases and hot dust, constantly exposed to the danger of eruption. For protection, volcanologists use heat-insulating clothing and shoes, covered with a layer of aluminium or other metal that reflects heat. They wear protective helmets on their head and use special gas masks. Snake milker. When you hear that someone is engaged in milking, you imagine industrial climber. The more humanity develops, the more amazing professions appear. Hardly a couple of centuries ago, someone would have thought that there'll be people welding on the water or, for example, working in industrial climbing. Industrial climbers can be seen when they insulate the walls of high-rise buildings, paint balconies, or repair drain pipes. But the real pride of industrial climbers is working on large projects. the repair of reinforced concrete structures of bridges and reactor shells at nuclear power plants, the anti-corrosion protection and painting of TV towers, the restoration of pressure water pipelines, and much more. Obviously, this kind of profession is associated with a huge risk, and work at high altitude often ends in accidents. The main reason is non-compliance with safety regulations before or during work. Even adverse weather conditions such as strong winds can lead to very sad consequences, and therefore the profession of of industrial climber is very well paid. But in exchange, this work requires endurance and incredible courage, as well as special training, and being very, very careful. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.